Hi everyone, I have a very easy neutral taupey look to show you today and it's perfect for fall and winter and I've already primed my face and applied foundation and also filled in my brows so now let's just prime our eyelids to make our shadows last all day of course you and I can do now with Makeup Geek's Vanilla Bean Eyeshadow we're going to pop this on our brow bone with a flat shader brush I cannot look now with this creme brulee shadow, also from Makeup Geek, we're going to work this in our crease back and forth with a blending brush. And now for the star of the show, we're using Timeless Taupe Shadow from Lancome and patting this generously all over the lids with a flat shader brush. And if you have hooded lids like me, don't be afraid to go just a little bit over your lid area. Next, line your eyes with your favorite black gel eyeliner. I'm using a bent liner brush because I feel that it is the easiest way to apply gel eyeliner. And don't forget to wing it out. You and I can do anything we please. With corrupt eyeshadow from Makeup Geek and a pencil brush, just smudge that liner back and forth until you can no longer see that crisp line on top. And I'm sorry if I sound a little nasally right now. I am still trying to get over a cold from this weekend, so bear with me. Now with another clean pencil brush and this mocha eyeshadow from Makeup Geek, carve out that crease using the smudge liner as your guide, making sure that you loosen the pressure as you go inward. If you have hooded lids or small eyes like I do, this is your best friend because it creates the illusion that you have a deeper set of eyes. And don't forget to blend out those harsh edges. I cannot look away. Like, can't you see I'm hypnotized? Next, line your waterline two thirds of the way with a pencil eyeliner. And with corrupt eyeshadow again, and that same pencil brush. Smudge that eyeliner out and drag it downwards to your lash line. Next, with Shimmer Shimmer Eyeshadow from Makeup Geek, use your ring finger and pop this on your inner tear ducts. And last but not least, apply your favorite mascara and falsies. And done, done, done. The eyes are done. Every dream. For the cheeks, I'm using this gorgeous holiday palette from Tarte. And I'm using their Park Avenue Princess Bronzer to contour my face. And by the way, I reviewed this palette on my blog. So if you're interested to read it, I will post the link down below. For blush, I'm using this middle shade called Darling and swiping this on my cheeks and dragging it backwards with an angled brush. To bring back the glow on my face, I'm using Max Whisper Guilt and applying this on the highest points of my face. In my dream, you and I had everything, a fairy tale, a fairy For the lips, I decided to go with a My Lips But Better color and I'm using Lancome's Delicate Lace, which is a Rouge and Love color. You and I had everything, a fairy tale. And then we're finishing it off with a Jouer lip gloss called Starfish and popping this right in the center. So 
that was it for my Easy Breezy Neutral Taupe tutorial. I hope that you all liked it. And please let me know what kind of videos or tutorials you want to see next. And I'll see you next time. Bye!